Okay. Let's talk in English. Okay. Barbara in the background, she moved. Yes. Your English yeah. is excellent, you say. So Thank I'm you very, very much. Happy to speak I with admire you English. your English. It's uh, these <laughs> British English. <laughs> Fantastic. Very. Yeah, your background is from Germany, but maybe you can yes, talk later. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So we are starting the 23rd Group Relations Conference, OrtLab, mm -hmm. uh, in the Ritzwa Institute here in Germany. Very warm welcome, Olya Kalili from it. London. Thank you. Thank you. So, it's so, great to be here. Great yeah. to be here working together with you. We've been working together many years now. Absolutely. Haven't we? Yeah. Uh, in uh, not just here, but in yeah. China also, and uh, uh, we have a long history. Long history. Yes, we introduced the Group Relations Conference in China together mm -hmm. in Switzerland. By the way, we were yes, together also in Switzerland the, yes. at the CIBS, and now at that time, Lorange Institute at the nice Zurich C. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And now we are at the reception here and waiting for the uh, or entrance and waiting for the participants to welcome them, right? Yes. So we will see how it works. When did you start this work? It's a long time ago, huh? Well, uh, my very first conference experience, I hesitate to say this, Hussein, was in 1973. And then in 1976, again, I went to the Leicester Conference twice. And then by the late 70s, I was working as a staff member. Yeah. So uh, I have a long, long history of working in group relations, uh, both in England and in Germany, of course, too, and other countries. Yeah. Ask me, I want to check that you are a senior in terms of experience, of course. Right. Well, uh, that's why yeah. I asked you. Uh, yes. I hope it's okay. <laughs> okay. That's, that's, that's fine. But of course, every conference is unique. So uh, one can be experienced, but as every conference is unique, you never quite know what's going to happen. So you have to come at it afresh, not get too institutionalized to think one knows what's going to happen <coughs> next, because then it will start to bite you. You're right, to bite you. So it's more important to work also with your not knowing, right? Yes. You don't know what will yes, happen. Exactly. To work with what's it's what's around. It sounds a little bit, you know, agile. Everyone is talking about agile, agility, yes. etc. Uh, it's also part of it, isn't it? The here and now, yes, the, yeah. the the being aware of what's going on now, right? At this moment, in this atmosphere, yeah. in this territory, yeah. in this system. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, so we everything, do it. everything is so unknown now, isn't it? We've had COVID, we've had this pandemic, and then we've got a war, we get uncertainty, we have to work our way through it and see what comes out. Yeah. So this concept of Agile, where did that come from? Oh, good question. So, I'm not sure exactly, but I, I realized the last years uh, it came around uh, with all those complexities and uncertainties, as you say, uh, I don't like this term, but they are talking about this VUCA world, right? This oh, yeah, world, woke, uh, the woke, or woke world. world. Yes, well, this is all part of the cancel culture, and which means you have to be terribly careful what you say, and you have to use the right terminology, otherwise you might get cancelled yeah, and yeah. be, uh, you know, made to disappear, which seems to be, I mean, I know it's something that is greatly admired, but to me, it seems to be part of an authoritarian way of looking at the world mm. and not something therefore really to be welcomed. Although clearly, you know, uh, we live in a multicultural, very diverse society and we have to be cognizant of that and uh, behave appropriately. So, so what, what do you feel in the, by starting a conference, so at the beginning, what is it, what goes in your, around in your mind, what's in your mind? Uh, apart from sheer panic, do you mean? Uh, <laughs> Well, you know, I'm always interested in kind of coming over the boundary myself into into a conference and seeing how the members begin to take up their roles and come and come in. And of course, I'm spending quite a lot of time trying to work out who might be who. And so I do try to learn, uh, you know, who the individual members are. But of course, that's very difficult in a short conference. So sometimes you just have to go with the flow and work with the fact you don't know. And I think that's a good thing to do. You work with not what you don't know. It's very good, very good. Thank you. Yes, this is just the start. We will continue our series of small bits and pieces of... <laughs> Little vignettes. Yes, vignettes of videos. <laughs> Hope you liked it and see you soon. Bye-bye. See you soon. Bye.